River Walk is extended. They just did this part. And that's the Detroit um, Belle Isle Bridge. And this is all new. And it starts from um, Mount Elliott Park. So if you live in the D or you're visiting the D, this is a new area that you can go ahead and walk on. And you can even get on the bridge and go over to the island over there. <coughs> I would say it would be really great if you had like a bike and bike this because it's a pretty long walk. So if you have a bike, get on the bike and ride it through. It's hot, y'all. How hot is it? It feel like it's 90 degrees, but I also got pants on. <laughs> <laughs> Woo -wee. It, it is hot. But it's a nice breeze outside. Yes, it is. I got my hat on, but it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> what can you say? And across there, um, well, that's Belle Isle across there, but also over on that side is Canada. Okay, we're, we're making it underneath the Belle Isle Bridge. to the people <laughs> what is this a dating app <laughs> oh dang yeah And today is my mother's birthday. Woo! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Woo -woo! Woo -woo! Woo -woo! <laughs> How you feeling on your birthday? Oh. Oh, yeah. You want to tell them how old? Yeah, 25. <laughs> Love. But, it, but ain't it a blessing to... to have another year on earth and to have made it this far and have a full life yes it is yep because because so, a lot of people they don't make it this long oh many don't 
you know so it's a blessing woo woo riding with one of them riding groups and it was like her second time and they were way out somewhere in, in Detroit but by maybe the Packard building or something and she caught a flat and they all left her oh thanks and nobody didn't stop and they just didn't even probably knew probably didn't even know she was out there because it was unorganized probably and uh, she her battery on her phone went dead oh she was out there all by herself in the middle of nowhere that's a nightmare. <laughs> Dang. Cause, and they didn't know. Mm -hmm. Well, she didn't know any of them. She Why just you met up. Like with some people. <laughs> you don't know nobody who wants to go. You just go. Who? She just. go to a place where everybody is. <laughs> Do you see me go anywhere else? I'm going to the free walk. That's it. She could have been on the river in front. At least it would be people around though. It was getting dark. She couldn't call Ain't nobody. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dang. At yeah, night. Not at a very fair <laughs> person. You know, you gotta know how to change a tire. That's for sure. No, you need to know when not to go. This place so new, the birds don't know about it. Look at them crackers. <laughs> <laughs> you should be gone. <laughs> <laughs> the new baby. We don't eat crackers. We eat fish. Yep, double team you. Hey, you guys. Did you hear it, kids? No. <laughs> We just want to say hi. <laughs> yeah, that's true. play it off like What you doing, Miss Stamps? Mrs. Stamps? I'm going to get my feet wet. <laughs> Generous funding support provided by John A. and Marlene L. Boyle Foundation. Lotion. Here go, Corey. <laughs> he ain't go get in. <laughs> Hey! 
What's up, y'all? So we made it back to the car. We on our way to Benny Hanna's for some food or some dinner. I've only been there one time, so it should be interesting to see what it's tasting like. What you think? I love Benihana's. I, I grew up eating Benihana's back in the 2000s. I, I love it. I, I love the taste of it. Go, growing up, I didn't like it as much. But now, being older, I, I appreciate the taste. And it goes really good with sushi because um, Benihana's is like a hibachi real place. So... I think when I started eating sushi and the salad with it and the soup and I ate it, you know, completely, it, it just tastes so good to me. <laughs> so we're headed headed there. Um, as you know, it's my mother's birthday and that's where she wanted to eat. So that's where we're going, y'all. So come along with us. Let's see what uh, Benny Hanna's, um, the one that's known to all the Detroiters, the Detroiters, this is the one that everybody used to go to. This this is the one they be talking about in the in the rap song. So <laughs> let's take you there with us. <laughs> oh I used to say that's the um drive in y'all it's still open on four road It smells really good in here. They do. The campus this way. <laughs> it smells real good. Mm -hmm. They know how to do it right in here. <laughs> Say hello. It's the birthday woman. Hello. I'm an official senior citizen today. <laughs> it's a great day. <laughs> And you look great, honey. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 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 I 
what's your name, bro? Corey. 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 Yes. Yeah. I got a name for you. What's your name, sister? Joelle. 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 Yeah, like Joel and L. Yeah. I don't know. I don't get nobody to lie about that. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, Joel. No. What's your name, Mom? Yeah. Yeah. What's your name, Mom? Oh, shit. Yeah. 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 Angel. Oh, shit. Angel. 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 Oh, you are Angel. 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 Thank y'all. I, I think to meet y'all. I hope I made y'all day. What's your name? My name. My real name is Jess. Jess. I don't like giving my real name out. <laughs> but you know what? I'm TJ, by the way. I'm gonna tell you I give my real name out now. When you look in the Bible, Jess is in the Bible. What? That's what in the Bible. Oh, okay. The Genesis, the whole Bible. Okay. So you know, I don't mind. I know who I am. Your mom named you out of the Bible. Your mother named you out of the Bible. No. You know? You know? Yeah, I'm not. Well, somebody told you out of the Bible. I don't know. I don't know how that went. I didn't get on your nerves, did I? Uh -huh. I didn't get on your nerves, did I? Uh -huh. I just wanted to spread the word. I went to church. So I'm like, you know. Let me spread the word. Let me show a gift. That's what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? That's what they say you're supposed to do. Uh -huh. That's what they say you're supposed to do. But most people don't. Most people are embarrassed and die and stuff. I don't see you. You know what's going to be the, the cool thing, how the Lord is using you, is because the way that you look and your persona, like, yeah, yeah, you, you, that's your uncle, the, the, it, it's going to attract other people who are like you, who look like you, and you're going to be able to spread the word to them, because they, you look like them. Yeah. No, no, crazy. My uncle said this, and I want you to right here. I would like to have a, I want y'all to have a, I want y'all to carry it. My uncle said this, oh, he died. Four years ago, about a week or three, four, I live by the car, I'm gonna die. He said, it's funny how black people listen to the white man. But when the black man speak, they don't listen. The Bible says, put the listen. So I sit back and I listen. <laughs> Where you at? All them nice Geminis. All these wonderful Geminis. They bought us a hundred dollars worth of food for free. And we gave it to the Cheddar Boys. But yeah, we had a good time. And it's pretty hard. Up. <laughs> when you're around at the Crash with us, it's <laughs> So you guys, we we uh left from Benihana's and it was very, very interesting. But uh, let me tell let me wind it, rewind it. So y'all saw us and we were we went in and we were waiting on our food and everything. Y'all saw that it was smelling good in there. Um, we was called to go sit down, but with another party. They said party of four and party of two. Come on, your table is ready. So as we're walking, um, we're with a, a couple. It's a young black couple, um, and uh, they was walking with us. And then it was a man, he was trying to like, I guess, get across, but we were walking and he, you know, was like, oh, oh, my bad. It's just a lot of beautiful women up in here tonight. And he was just, you know, just kind of being chatty and stuff. And then come to find out, uh, they were sitting at the table with us. They were already, um, was seated. So when they came over, they was like, oh, okay, they sitting with us. And I guess the, the, the woman, um, of that couple that was 
um, being seated with us, they ain't want no part. So they got up and they told the um, waitress that it was too crowded at the table and whatnot. So uh, after that, the guy, you know, him, him, it was two guys and they got all this jewelry on. They got like, it looked like a real diamond uh, chain leak uh, um, necklace. It was it, it was glowing and then they had their Cartier glasses on which is a big thing in, in Detroit if you know about you know Cartier uh, glasses and whatnot they had it on diamonds all on the on the bridge and on the sides and stuff really kind of flashed out you know and I ain't gonna lie they look like some, some drug boys I ain't gonna lie in the in the persona matched and um so I guess when the when the couple had got up or whatever, um, what's so funny? Grandpa. We got the game. Grandpa. Oh, anyways. So um, so when when that couple got up, you know, um, the the guy, it was two guys. One was older. One was younger. The, the one said he was 34 the other one looked like he could have been maybe 50 and um he he's he just was talking to us and he said hey did i offend you guys in any way you know i didn't mean to offend anybody or you know or anything like that and and all of that and then he says i'm gonna you know what i'm just gonna pay for everybody's meal here i'm just gonna pay for your meals and you know we like for real you know I, I didn't really believe it too much until you know until I see you pay the bill I, I didn't really believe it like that <laughs> but I'm like well that's cool if he do cool if he don't we good we got the bill we can handle it <laughs> and all of that and um so he kept saying um throughout the night that he was gonna pay the bill for us and so I'm like okay well, let's talk to the guy. Let's, you know, give him some conversation, some something. And he, he just, uh, he was just talking about Jesus Christ. <laughs> he was talking about how, you know, he wants to do good just because it's a, a good thing to do good. You know, it's good to give instead of always receiving. And, and that, you know, he, he just loved the Lord, basically. And, and that was real cool and he didn't know who he was talking to you know and um um he ended up saying that uh the lord told him that he wanted him to be a preacher but he didn't he doesn't want to do that and and all of that and he said he um got into a car accident and was in a coma for a couple of days but he walked away from that and um, got his uh, loss um, suit settled and whatnot and all of that so our whole meal ended up being totally free they said the bill was $511 for all of our food they ended up leaving um, early had got a phone call and said that they had to leave barely took their food <laughs> they barely they was gonna leave their food the food wasn't even done being cooked yet but he ended up finishing the food and they ended up just boxing it up and they left and they they also paid for the um i don't know if he paid for the whole meal or maybe the tip for the table next to us so yeah it, it was an eventful night i must say <laughs> Uh, so what who that person was end up being the singers or or the rappers end up being the rappers of the east side cheddar boys so anybody from detroit you may uh know about them um they had this song back in the day it was like uh how you sing it i'm a cheddar boy baby. oh i'm a cheddar boy baby that's for sure that's him yeah, Jesse James and the boy who, the little boy who sings the hook 
TJ, it was them two. So we were sitting with them. We didn't know. They they told us like once they were leaving, that's that's who they were, and we we recognized that. So that was what's up. We we got a free meal. My mother's birthday. Th this is the second time we came to, to Detroit where my mother um, got something. <laughs> because the last time we came here, we went to um, Bugali Leather, which is a leather place in Detroit. Or, yeah, it's in Detroit. And um, my mom was looking for a leather coat. And the coat that she wanted was two hundred dollars, but they they liked me and my husband so much they gave it to her for one fifty. <laughs> and now this is our second time in Detroit again, and my mom got a free meal. <laughs> so that's what's up. That's nothing but a blessing, you know. Thank so. you, Cheddar Boys. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you, Cheddar Boys. We we appreciate you. <laughs> That's the least. Yeah, I told him to treat the police in the minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's up, y'all? So we made it downtown. I believe we're in downtown Detroit. Yep. Uh, we're out here by Greek Town. We just gonna go walk around, check some stuff out, see what's popping. There's a lot of people down here because it's the holiday weekend. So we just gonna see what's popping, what's going on tonight, and come on with us. Detroit statue. Oh, wait, let me get the spirit of Detroit. <laughs> um, this is the Techno Fest, but they have um, changed it to the movement.
vibes. Y'all see this building right here? This tall one. That they're still they're still building on it. It's supposed to be, it's gonna be supposed to have a a mall is gonna be in it. So Detroit is gonna have some shopping off of Gratian in Woodwork. Yeah, so. Stay tuned. Okay, and this has just been put together. It's roller skating, arcade. This is off of Woodwork. It's called Next Level. They don't want no riffraff. Shut down at 10 o'clock p.m. Stop playing with them. <laughs> they said we want y'all to come in and have fun and have a good time, but not for a very long time. Okay. They don't want no rubber. <laughs> they don't want no what? No rubber. <laughs> they closed just in time. Yep. Guess what y'all, Detroit got a Gucci store, Gucci, in Detroit y'all, <laughs> that's what's up, Detroit coming up y'all, we've been up, but not everybody else needs to see. Flux Flux, it's a black light club, so everything glows in the dark in there. Yep, so I guess everything glows in the dark in that well, place. So y'all that's um Mike Epps um like bar or like uh Food place, my uh, one mic. Yep, from the comedian Mike Epps here in Detroit. So, okay, so we going into um, the the Peach Cobbler. Thanks, babe. The Peach Cobbler Factory. So we have um, vanilla bean ice cream. 
and peach cobbler. They come together and it's nine dollars over here at the peach cobbler factory. And it tastes pretty good. It tastes like a, you know, soul food, peach cobbler. And I'm yeah, like grandma was in the kitchen. I just got the regular peach cobbler. Check out stamps-tv.com. We have full seasons of your favorite TV show reactions. And don't forget to click on our shop tab. We offer tees, crew necks, hoodies, and jogger sets. And we offer the highest quality in virgin hair products. Stamps Essentials, Stay Moist Coils Hair System. Stay Moist Coils is a plant-based system that admires the attributes of the 80s permanent curl. Our three-part hair system establishes a thick tacky coating on your hair strands. Once the coating dries, like the permanent curl you will be left with moist to the touch, soft hair that lasts all day, definition, reduced frizz, added sheen, and hair movement to your natural coils, kinks, and curls without the use of chemicals. Stay Moist Coils Hair System cannot change your natural curl pattern, but we can unleash your God-given curl pattern. So say goodbye to your mane drying out and becoming stiff as a board. Visit link in bio.